everyone and welcome back to my channel She Sews Happiness. I'm Mary Ellen. This is where I come to chat to you about all things sewing and of late sewing has slowed down again. I kind of have my peaks and my troughs as I'm sure we all do and in some ways it's very deliberate in some ways it's just like there is no time in the day um, and all my best attempts to make time don't really materialize. Um, so sewing is not something that takes the pride of place in my daily life that it once did a couple of years ago. And that's okay because it's still there, it still does what I need it to do. It still fulfills the basic needs of why I started sewing, which was in the first place to be more sustainable and in the second place to make clothes that fit me and my body without all of the turmoil that comes with trying to find those things ready to wear. Um, and I suppose as well it kind of gives me my individualism too because you know you'll never see the same thing on anyone well unless somebody makes the same thing from the same fabric and even then that's very rare isn't it. So it does still do what it's supposed to do and I do still find moments in which I can indulge those things and the basic truth is it's not like I need a lot of stuff because I have a wonderful wardrobe that is variable that meets my needs that actually probably needs cleared out because I think there are some things in there um some that are too small <laughs> and some that are too big because I do tend to um have quite severe fluctuations um and with hormones and with medications and things like that, there's not really a lot I can do about that. But I do seem to have stabilized again. Um, and that's a great thing. So it just gives me a little bit more deliberation time, I suppose, to think like, what do I want in my wardrobe and what do I need? So I know so many people have been doing Me Made May and I think that's kind of the point of Me Made May. But actually all I see are just photographs of daily outfits, which I'm not really... I don't know, I'm not really into that kind of thing anymore. So my socials have really just become spaces to share nice new things that I've created and um, random cute things, I suppose, when it comes to Henry as well. So yeah, since I was last on here, I have done a couple of things, nothing massive, nothing major, nothing groundbreaking, that's for sure. Um, but I've made a couple of things and today I've got a couple of hours, so it's my Friday, so from 10 to 12 I'm slotting out a couple of hours. I'm not going to be sewing for all of that time, I am doing a deep clean in the sewing room. I need to do a de-stash, but again, that's going to require effort and time, which I don't have at the moment. So. We'll maybe just do it as I go along and as I decide this isn't for me, I'll set them aside and then see what to do with them after that. This coffee is so needed. It's already like 18 degrees and it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I don't do summer, I don't do heat. So I think the next few days are going to be summery. Um, so yeah, I'll be tolerating, I'll be tolerating things if it gets above 20 degrees because that's just where I wither. I just shrink and disappear. So, what have I been sewing? Um, in the first place, I made another Canadian dress. Um, again, it has become the basic to my work wardrobe. It's so easy to wear. It's so enjoyable to sew. Um, so I think I now maybe have four or five of them. Definitely four. I'm just not going to try my automatic recall because when I get to Friday, I'm done. My brain is done. I'm exhausted. I am overworked and I just want not to think too much at all. So I had a beautiful, beautiful fabric that I'd bought a few months back from Sister Mintaka. Gorgeous kind of like panelled print fabric, black and white, um, fairy me. And I just wanted to stitch it up. And again, because I am so short on time, I am stitching things that I know will fit and fit well without going and starting a new pattern and twalling from scratch. Because if I did that, I'd be lucky to make another garment by Christmas, to be perfectly honest. So I will slot in a couple of pictures. It's currently in the machine, washing away. 
um, to get out to dry. The only benefit of this weather to get out to dry, um, to be put back into circulation for the work wardrobe next week. And I've worn it a couple of times already, and I do. I really love it. The fabric is a beautiful quality. Um, and the pattern, as I say, just works for me. I love it. I feel dressed, but I don't feel overdressed. And essentially, that's the look I'm going for every day as I go to work. So I'm not going to say too much about this because you'll find out um, a lot about this in past videos if you've watched them. So yeah, big fan of the cashmere at Canadian Dress. And I'll be making more of them, I am sure, in the future. I also made some more movie night PJs for Henry. Again, because it's like if you get an hour in the week, it's something that can be achieved and finished and they get used on repeat. So, you know, they're, there's no waste. These things are worn to death. So I think today, one of the things I'd like to cut out is a little pair um, of the movie night PJs, but in shorts and t-shirt. Because as we are now moving into the warmer months, the long sleeves, the long legs are going to have to be a thing of the past. Um, yeah, need to start making some tiny shorts and tiny t-shirts um, for pyjamas. Really cute, right? Really cute. <laughs> um, and the fabric, that fabric. Where did Henry and I get that fabric? Oh, we bought that in a little shop in Ballycastle on the North Antrim coast when we were last using the caravan up there. So I can't even remember what you call the wee shop. Maybe Snip, possibly Snip. Uh, just a little local, like tiny little store, but some beautiful little pieces in there. So hopefully I'll get back up. Um, if the weather's going to be like this, I might as well get to the seaside. Um, that's my part of the world. It's where I'm from. So I like to get up there when I can. And also there's just so many good eateries and stuff as well. So you always have a great couple of days when you go to the coast. Now, apart from cutting out some PJs today, the other thing I am doing is I am stitching up some Sozo undies. So um, this is a pattern that I've had obviously sitting around for ages with the intention of making things. And again, I'm trying to be sustainable. I'm trying to use up scraps. I have quite a few different jersey scraps lying around because particularly when I was pregnant, I was sewing a lot of my garments from cotton jersey and bamboo jersey and things like that. So I want to use um, the little bits and pieces that are left from those dresses and yeah, just not have them sitting in a box somewhere. So I have batch cut a few in this lovely cotton jersey here. What was left of this? I got this, I believe, from Sew Me Sunshine and I'd made a Moneta dress months, 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 months ago. So that's the last three pieces all used up once I stitched these. And I'd also had some cotton jersey pieces. Um, this fabric here, which I got from Fabric Godmother. It was basically a copy of some fabric that was used in Emily in Paris. And I really loved the cherry print. So this is the pattern all made up. The pattern you can make with, um, can't even think of the word. It's not even enclosed. I really am having a moment. It is enclosed. I think that's what I mean, enclosed gusset. So you can make this one or two ways. You can make it with the enclosed gusset or you can make it just with um, the gusset piece all cut out of the same thing, uh, the same pattern piece. So. Yeah, I, I like to take the, the long way whenever I'm doing some sewing. And um, I've got lots and lots of fold over elastic, which is what this pattern requires. And I've made these a couple of weeks ago. I made a pair just to try and make sure the size was okay. They are so good to wear. I mean, they are so good to wear. Why I haven't been making my own before now, I'll never really understand. So I'm... I have three, three more pairs cut out here and certainly I'll do more when the opportunity arises. Again, I'm just looking for patterns and projects that I can have as a quick fix when I just need that decompressing because to be honest, that's another thing sewing does give me. It's a decompression from um, the work stressors. And so other things, like I mean, I've made, I've cut a couple, 
um, project bags for all of my cross stitch. So I've got another little cross stitch bag run up. And I know I said I'd film that, but again, because I've been sewing so fast, I haven't filmed that yet. Um, but I will, inevitably, it will happen at some point. But that's where I am. That's a very, very, very quick um, run through of what I've been sewing, what I am sewing. I actually think I haven't bought any fabric. Wow, I think this is the first time I've ever had a vlog. And I haven't bought fabric. That's how busy I've been. And I mean, I have been incredibly busy. But that's also really, really, really reassuring to me. Because to be honest, I think another reason why I'm not sewing so much at the moment is just because like where to start. Um, I'll come in and I have so much stuff that it just doesn't inspire me to want to sew because I'm not actually sure what it is I'd like to sew with. So my mission for the rest of this year really is to try and work my way through what I have got and things that I'm not going to use, try to get them out of here. You know, so lots of things that I would have got in um, like subscription boxes and stuff that I haven't chosen. It's very unlikely 90% of those are going to get sewn up. So I think they need to move on and just make room so that I can physically <laughs> physically see um, and, and everything's visible. The, the stuff that I want to do, the stuff that I want to sew. So I think that's going to be my priority um, going forward. But certainly for now, a wee quick hour of sewing. I was going to tidy and clear first, but I might just sew a couple of these up first and then get on to um, the tidying. Sure there'll be more threads and stuff to vacuum up anyhow, won't there? So that that's it. I have I have plans to come on and chat to you as well, but at the end of the month about the cross stitching projects because some of you are enjoying seeing those. So we'll save that for later on in the month when it's a bit more worthwhile. You know, it's it's a slow hobby, so you don't do a lot in a week or two. Um, but I think I'll just make those a monthly feature here on my channel. But yeah, I just wanted to pop in and say I haven't gone anywhere and I have done little things um, because inevitably I'll always find some time, um, if only for my mental health and the decompression of nothing else. So I'll always have something to share with you. But I'm really proud that I don't have lots of fabrics to share. That almost shows signs of a maturing me, doesn't it? Or so I'd like to think. Anyhow, time to sew. Wherever you are today, whatever you're doing, I hope you have a really good one. And if you're in the sewing room, let me know what you're sewing. I always like to know what people are sewing. And then I stockpile the pattern recommendations um, for when time magically materializes itself. So yes, thanks again for stopping by the channel. Thanks again if you're a subscriber and if you're not, please do consider subscribing, hitting that little bell. It'll tell you when I come back and share some more things with you. Um, but until then, happy sewing and uh, take care. Bye.